So I realize I'm behind on my incorporated reviews, but I decided to catch up. I'm going to try to catch up this week, and so I am going to be giving you my review for uh, Season 1, Episode 4 of Incorporated. Uh, this episode is entitled Cost Containment. Uh, so this episode starts off with a good opening, um, and it's this commercial by Spiga, basically, um, or rather Spiga's rivals, saying, uh, talking about how they need to uh, send money to help an American child who is starving, and it's this very compelling scene, obviously because it shows that this world is completely different than ours. America's at the low of the low, along with everybody else, and that corporations rule. And it's basically asking corporate people to uh, donate to help out a starving American kid. And it's this very cool um, commercial that they play at the beginning of the episode. Um, but basically, this episode has two different storylines that go on throughout it. And first, I'm going to be talking about the flashbacks. So the flashbacks open up with a phenomenal tent scene in which the Spiga representative um, denies Elena's uh, scholarship but asks her to be work in an executive club and really what's great about this scene is guns are drawn her dad draws a gun and everybody else because an executive club is basically like um, a whorehouse or a brothel for these ex executives and of course he doesn't want his daughter working there well she t tells him to think about the offer but um, then everybody leaves. Um, and later in the flashbacks, we also get to see Ben finally in a flashback. Um, it's Theo and Ben basically are robbing this money converter, and it goes wrong, but they are able to escape the Bitcoin, sort of. But it's interesting to see them sort of do that, because we haven't seen much of Ben in the flashbacks at all, and uh, his character seems sort of bland to me throughout the series, so it's nice to sort of get some background um, on how him and Theo... Um, I mean, not Ben, rather. Theo seems like a character who's very cookie-cutter. But it was interesting to see Theo and Ben sort of get that scene, the flashback, to give Theo some good characterization, because he seems like a one-dimensional character, but they did seem to flesh him out with the flashback scenes a little bit. Um, Elena was tricked into taking a false scholarship, and Ben and Elena were attacked at the end of the episode. Uh, so basically, that's how the flashbacks end, and it was a very cool way, because, of course, they try to bomb out the store, firebomb it, but Ben saves Elena's life. So as far as the modern day, they had good foreshadowing with Roger and Ben, because they had a little conversation with each other, and Roger mentioned the executive club. And, of course, Roger's trying to figure out, you know, how he can get rid of Ben, and Roger has a combo with uh, his dad, basically asking him to pull some strings to help him. But in order for his dad to do that, um, Roger's father tells um, tells him that he needs to convince uh, his brother, who's genetically engineered to be smarter, but sort of at the same time disabled, to go to this home. So there's a scene where Roger goes to the house and convinces his brother to go, and it's very cool because Roger seems sort of one dimensional, uh, like a one dimensional antagonist as well. But we also see this family drama arise with him and his father and his brother, which is great to see. Um, Theo is hired to break a kid's leg, a rising b-ball star's leg, and of course he doesn't want to do it, but he takes this kid out on, um, basically the night out, and eventually he gets him drunk and breaks his leg, and there's this emotional scene where we see Theo do it, do this thing he didn't think he would have to do, um, and the basketball player sort of urging him on, this kid urging him on to break his leg, go ahead and do it, and it was this insane scene. Um, we also see, of course, not only in Theo, not only Theo's storyline uh, is compelling this week, but we also got to see Ben and Laura uh, have their storyline involve uh, Laura's natural birth. You know, it's very weird to have a natural birth in this world, but they definitely want to. Um, and it's uh, Cross tried to convince them to have a incubator birth, but of course they they're not going to listen to her. Um, Laura doesn't like her mother, and neither does Ben. And so they decide they're going to have natural birth. But we also see that Ben puts this birth control patch on as well. Uh, so it looks like the baby, you know, didn't develop right or wasn't even able to be born uh, so that he doesn't have to deal with the kid on top of everything he's dealing with um, in trying to find um, Elena again. So we, we get to see sort of him basically telling his wife he wants natural birth, but then at the same time taking birth control to make it so he doesn't have a kid to make things more complicated, which is an interesting point, and we'll see, it'll be interesting to see how in the later episodes this affects everything. We also got to see um, the episode in uh, with, uh, well actually not the episode in, but we got to see in the latter part of this episode 
um, that the competitor of Spiga is basically working on a plan to convert salt water to fresh water to water crops and basically cure global hunger, which would put them ahead. So it's great, uh, it's great that Ben was able to convince this uh, or make a plan to get this defector over. But overall, this episode is a phenomenal episode. There's a lot of uh, content here, and I'd have to give uh, season one, episode four of Incorporated Cost Containment a 8.4 out of 10. It was a very compelling episode, very interesting, uh, but at the same time wasn't as thrilling as, say, The Man in the High Castle. So um, I've been watching a lot of that lately, so um, that's what I have to compare it to. But it was a pretty great episode of television, and it was nice to see Theo sort of get his um, get some character development. Uh, so I'd have to give it an 8.4 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed my review slash recap for Incorporated Season one episode four cost containment. This has been Jonesy from Jones for TV signing off.